that your friend, I'm telling you tonight, you don't have to go to that awful place. Just because you're not out in the world don't mean that you don't have sin in your life. We're born in sin, shame and iniquity. That's why Paul said to me, I die daily. We need to make sure our hearts are pure and right before the Lord. We need to make sure we walk every day in accordance to the word of God. We're not breaking in the commandments. Be able to do what God has us to do. That's right. Some believe that the dead can see us and is watching down over us. Some believe, preachers believe that their mothers are watching over them as they preach. Using scripture says in Hebrews 12 and 1, Wherefore, seeing we are also compassed about with so great a cloud of witness. If that were true, can you not see them? Looking down upon this service tonight. Saying, if I just had one more chance, one more opportunity to get my heart right with my brother, one more opportunity to get my heart right with my sister, one more opportunity to be able to come into church and be able to pray for God to forgive me of my sin, forgive me for my heart, forgive me for my bitterness, forgive me of my pride, forgive me of my jealousy, forgive me of all against my brother, forgive me for not paying my tithes, forgive me for being unfaithful. There is a sin of being unfaithful. Lost. Lost. Somebody said lost. If it were possible for them to see us, the main attention would be turned on this right here. The word being lost because they've already <clears throat> know what it's like to die without God. To die and not feel the power of God like they needed to to be able to make it to heaven. People know on their deathbed if they're right or not. Because they have what they call deathbed repentance. I don't want to take my chances on a deathbed repentance. You may believe in deathbed repentance, but honey, I don't want to take my chance. I want to make sure that I have everything right with my brothers and my sisters. But if I can just hear somebody that's coming from the back say, Preacher, preach with everything you got. Preach with conviction. If I can just call one person from hell, I wouldn't have to get them up here. All they would have to do is come and walk there. They just point their scorched finger and say, You need to get your heart right with God. You need to get your soul right with Jesus tonight. That's all it would take is just somebody coming from hell and you being able to see and smell the effects of hell. Where the worm dieth not and the fire is not quenched. I don't know, I felt this in my spirit today and I I, I, I just feel like that I'm hopeless tonight. I know that there are, there are people that are here that need God in their life. I know that not everybody in this church is perfect. If you're perfect, raise your hand. We'll come and pray for you. Pray the line spirit out of you. Hallelujah, I can get into some stuff, brother, but it's not my place to get up and preach about sins that's going to send you to hell. It's my place to try to get somebody in the altar and get them saved. It's the pastor's job to try to get them saved and being able to look the part to be able to make it into heaven. It's not my place to preach standards. It's not my place to preach about those type of things. But sin will send your soul to hell. Yes, it will. There is no little sin and there is no big sin. A little white lie could be just as bad as going out there and drinking a bottle of whiskey. Talking about little things that'll send you to hell that we do just every day and we're just not knowing that, hey, it's a sin. We need to have our hearts right with God and have our hearts in tune with Jesus Christ. That's right. Because there is a real hell. A real hell. In the name of Jesus, God, I pray. Musician, would you please come on? Please stand tonight. Prayer warriors, if you had began to pray, I feel hopeless tonight because I felt this in my spirit. To try to get someone to say,
no matter what we have to do. Brother, but you have everything right or not. I think all of us could use a little more time in prayer. Those that will and are able, would you just please come up front and just begin to stand a few moments in prayer?